Hello, my name is Monique, and this is our orientation video for PAC. I'm the creator of this support and education group, the Parental Alienation Canada, or PAC for short. And parental alienation refers to the experience of a child who has been influenced to reject and hate one parent by the other parent, and to parental behaviors that poison the child's relationship with the other parent. And this is hard abuse to take as a targeted parent, so we provide information about self-care to withstand the abuse. We recommend that you check out our video clip with the 12-step program for targeted parents and see if this self-care program is right for you. See the link below for that clip and sign up for information. We also teach something called approach and withdraw parenting, which means you should approach your child and shine a light into their world whenever you can and then withdraw for self-care during this reactivity. Please see that video link in the description below as well. There is also a Canadian nonprofit called the Canadian Centre for Men and Families, or CCMF, and they sponsor this PAC group. They have legal clinics for targeted parents in some provinces, as well as a survivor of false accusations program that is open to all genders. And I will link to their registration page for programs in the description below. PAC has a dynamic group of admins who help us moderate our group. Please feel free to reach out to any of the admins in this team if you have questions about our group. And this is a private support group as our parents and extended family post quite sensitive information at times about their situation. So one of our 10 rules is that you don't copy and paste our posts outside of the group, please. And please respect the privacy of others. We have a public facing page called the Canadian Center, a Canadian Parental Alienation Foundation, where you can post and share important information that you would feel would help more inform more Canadians about this abuse. We also ask that you don't post pictures of your kids' faces. Please blank out your kids' faces. If you need help editing your photos, please reach out to admins. Ebony will help you. We do, not, we do this to protect our members in court and also because many of our children are alienated. We wish to respect the children's privacy. We also ask that you don't name third-party professionals or name your ex or your children. Please no third-party names. We encourage you to share honestly about your feelings and experiences, but don't make this group a target for litigation. And you may be wondering why this abuse is happening to you and if you're alone. And you're definitely not alone as a targeted parent or extended family member. This happens to many people and it is a systemic problem. We're advocates for a default of equal shared parenting in Canada where both parents would have equal power in the system. This is similar to the system in Sweden where parents don't even need a lawyer. They sign a piece of paper and agree to share the parenting after divorce and separation. In Sweden, there's only expensive litigation and a custody dispute if there's actual proof of child abuse, which is how it should be in Canada. If both parents have equal power in the system, it'll be a lot harder for one parent to alienate. One parent can no longer arbitrarily block the other parent from picking up the child at school or getting access to the child's medical records. We expect that an equal shared parenting default would help mitigate the more mild and moderate cases of parental alienation and keep most of the Canadian cases of divorce out of the family court and away from the inappropriate litigation. If you want to support an equal shared parenting default in Canada, I recommend that you join and support the Canadian Equal Parenting Council, Council which is the nonprofit that puts the shared parenting bills together, and I will post that link in the description. There's a really great documentary on parental alienation and the high emotional and financial costs of our adversarial family court system. It's called Erasing Family, and you can watch that on YouTube. It also shows the benefits of shared parenting in Sweden, and I will link down below. We're happy to see you here supporting each other, and we're glad to have you on our team. And ciao for now, Monique.